Okay. In this question, we are given an equation and we need to find a stationary point of that equation. The stationary point dy upon dx is equals to 0. This is one thing. So, if we simplify our own equation first, y is equals to 2 minus sin theta over cos theta cos theta. This would simplify to y is equals to 2 secant theta minus tan theta. If we take the derivative of this thing, 2 by dy upon dx is equals to 2 secant theta tan theta. The derivative of tan theta is secant squared theta. So this would become, if I take secant theta common, secant theta whole multiplied by twice of tan theta minus secant theta. This is my point. Since I need, uh, we are writing the stationary point, so the derivative should be equal to zero. So okay. No. Either this thing is equal to uh, either uh, this thing is equal to zero or that thing is equal to zero. So our equation will become secant theta is equal to zero or 2 tan theta minus secant theta is equal to 0. Since secant theta can never be equal to 0 because 1 over cos theta cannot be 0. Because it would be 0 if this thing approaches to infinity and it doesn't approach. So this thing will not be collected. No, we are left with simple twice of tan theta minus secant theta. So I can simplify it to 1 over sin theta upon cos theta minus 1 over cos theta is equal to 0. It will be simplified to 2 sin theta minus 1 equals to 0. Sin theta will be equal to half. Sin theta is if I take the sign inverse of 0.5 that is equal to power of 6. I use my calculation. So theta would be equal to pi by 6. So or sorry, since I have if the x is equal to pi by 6. Consider the whole question as x. So if x is equal to pi by 6, I need to calculate y. I need to put it back into my main equation. So in this equation, I put it sin x uh, 2 minus sin x over cos x. Two minus sin pi by six upon cos of pi by six. This would become the equation of everything. Two minus sign of answer divided by cos of answer this is the under root 3 so our final answer is under root 3 so our stationary point is We need to show it in your work, so I am just highlighting it. So, in this question, we are given to find the whether the stationary point is maximum or minimum. So, to find the stationary point, our dy by dx was first I need to write it twice of secant theta tan theta minus secant squared theta 
So to find the sixteen point, I need to find d two y over d x square. That would be equal to first I took something common over there two secant theta whole by theta where pan theta minus secant theta coming right over. Okay. I use product rule for differentiation. This is my first product. This is my second product. U and V. The product rule was uh, just for the sake of the people who don't know, remember that U D V upon D X plus V D U upon D X. So the derivative of secant theta is twice of secant theta tan theta into tan theta minus secant theta plus the derivative of second thing. So if we want to see the derivative of second thing, the, uh, the derivative of tan theta is secant square theta minus secant theta. Tan theta into twice of secant theta. So this is our final equation. I need to put my stationary point over here. So the secant theta was twice of secant pi by six into tan pi by six all multiplied by tan pi by six. Minus secant of pi by six plus secant squared pi by six minus secant of pi by six tan pi by six into Twice of secant pi by six. So I put these numbers in my calculator. Two into two into one upon one upon cos of shift pi by six multiplied. Multiply by tan of shift pi by six, all multiplied by tan shift pi by six minus one upon cos of shift pi by six. This is negative zero point nine. This whole thing, this whole thing is equals to negative zero point nine seven four. So let me check this thing again. Second square so one upon bracket one upon cos of pi by six. Square minus cos pi by six into tan pi by six cos of tan shift pi by six all multiplied by all multiplied by two. Cos of shift pi by six. So this became ten into two, three, so one point, uh, one point nine two. So this thing is one one point nine two four. So if I add one point nine two four minus zero point nine seven four, this will become nineteen upon twenty. So the answer is. Upon d x squared is equal to roughly 
equals to 0 0.95. So it is roughly equal to 0 0.95. So since this is greater than 0, so stationary point is minimum. So, minimum 